Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece, except for today because I have some unfortunate news, but also some ways that all of you amazing people can help keep this channel running. So first and foremost, this may have gone a bit under the radar, but I have received a second copyright strike, this time on my Luffy vs. Katakuri video, which went into an in-depth explanation of the fight, its themes, and how Luffy ended up victorious. It's one of the videos that I am most proud of by far, and it was issued with a takedown by MX International Incorporated, or more accurately, their lackey content removal company, which you can tell by the email being infringement at removeyourmedia.com. So now I am a bit pissed off. Previously, I did not think that a single strike was worth the effort of fighting, especially for a chapter review video, but a second and on a video that I love dearly, well, we're not going to take it anymore. And I have already filed a counterclaim. Now due to YouTube being YouTube, MX International now has 10 to 14 US business days to file some kind of court proceeding against me or else drop the claim. Now the outcome of that battle aside, this does put the Grand Line Review in a very precarious situation. We are now one copyright strike away from having the entire account deactivated. This strike could occur at any time for any reason, regardless of whether or not the claimant has the legal right to do so. And as a result, I need to ask all of you wonderful Grand Fleet recruits for some help in one of the following ways. Firstly, if you are not a subscriber, and I know from YouTube metrics that there are a phenomenal amount of you who watch my videos but don't subscribe, which is fine, but I am imploring with you now to please hit that that subscribe button because we are less than 5,000 subs away from hitting 100,000. Why is this relevant? Because when a channel hits 100,000, they then get access to a YouTube representative, like a real human being to talk to. Whereas right now, it is impossible for me to contact YouTube directly about anything. So please, please do subscribe to the channel so that we can have our voices heard. I know that there are more than enough of you out there to do this. Secondly, and this is something that I never advertise, but please do follow me on Twitter at Grand Line Review. And there's a link in the description to it as well. I ask for this because in the world worst case scenario that this channel does get deactivated before one of these two copyright strikes is settled, I will be uploading my content to a backup channel and I will need a method to communicate with all of you regarding where and what that is, as well as updates regarding the fight for the main channel. I've chosen to focus on Twitter because it seems like the easiest method, but if you prefer, I do also have a Facebook, subreddit and Discord server, which will all have information available should the worst happen, links to all of which are in the description below. Finally, and either least or most importantly, depending on your perspective, there is also the Grand Line Review Patreon. Now I understand that not everyone is able to give money, trust me, I work in the arts. I know what it's like to have absolutely nothing to spare. But here's the thing, if even a fraction of the Grand Line Review audience gave $1 a month, then YouTube and its associate companies would have absolutely no power over us. They could copyright claim the videos as much as they want, and we'll just keep channel hopping or hosting content on Patreon. There's a whole ton of options, but it would only be made possible through your funding. And once again, I understand if you can't give, in fact, I hate the very notion of asking, because you are all already so very generous with your time, your life, your comments, but I do now have to face the potential reality of what's going to happen should this channel fall victim to aggressive and unwarranted copyright claims. And in that regard, the power is always in the hands of the people. If you love something, then support it however you can, whether it be through a small donation or something phenomenally easier like pressing that wonderful subscribe button. Because what I do know is that with your support, it really doesn't matter what big corporations try to do, this channel will always survive in one form or another. But that pretty much does it for this little slightly apocalyptic channel update. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do one of the things I mentioned in the video, links to all of which are in the description below, and I promise that we'll be back to regular One Piece content ASAP. This has been the Grand Line Review, and hopefully, we'll see you next time.